Hello, and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on a low spec CPU. So, as you can see, I have developer tools showing on the screen with a frame rate and showing my CPU percentage that's currently pegged at 100% and GPU is 55%, but there again, we're not doing much at the moment. So, I've been reading the forums, uh, seeing what else we can do, and from our last video, we started off with the GeForce Experience settings, um, which set everything down to low or off, um, except for volumetric clouds, which was medium. And that seemed to work okay, it wasn't particularly pretty, and frame rates weren't great. So, what I've done now is go completely the other direction and set everything to ultra. This obviously affects the frame rate, but there's only a few settings that actually affect the CPU. And my graphics card, being a GTX 1070, is a fairly decent mid-range card. So let's see what my settings are at the moment. So we run through and we have full anti-aliasing, ultra terrain vector data, high buildings, ultra trees, ultra bushes, object level detail at 100, ultra for pretty much everything else, or high. The things that really make a difference to the CPU are buildings, um, I'm going to drop that down to medium for the moment. I'm not happy with how buildings look. They're very triangular from a distance, um, especially um, in heavily built up areas. Um, and objects level of detail also has a significant uh, performance hit for CPU. So I'm going to drop that down to 50 for the moment. Um, and terrain level of detail is at 25. But as I say, everything else is pumped up to the maximum. So we save that and back to the game. So I'm going to do what I did last time. Go to the world map. Dive into New York. Statue of Liberty set as a rival. So at the moment it's pretty dark in New York. So I'm going to change the time of day to about midday-ish and we're going to have a few clouds also I've turned off all live traffic and live players because they also affect the CPU so here we go And here we are. Statue of Liberty is below me somewhere. Um, and the frame rate isn't great. But there again, it never is when you first start off. So let's go ready to fly. So a low frame rate now, but that will pick up. Here we go. 20. 30. So it's hovering between 20 and 30. Let's go to external camera. So there's a statue of liberty below me. And we're hovering of oh, 30 to 40 frames per second. Now let's flip around and have a look at Manhattan where the skyline is obviously a lot more busy. There's going to be some low frame rates while it sorts itself out and there we go now because the building level is a, a lower setting it's all a bit grey but it's flyable it's ground 
all looks okay. Some nice clouds there. And let's dive into Manhattan. Now, to be honest, this isn't really a fair test because you're not generally going to be flying around a built-up area like this at such a low altitude. But looking down, it looks quite good. Again, the Autogen has um, seemed to populate Manhattan with lots of trees. I'm sure it was a forest at some point, but not anymore. So frame rates hovering between 20 and 30 frames. The CPU is just pegged at 100%. Um, the developer tools are showing a message saying limited by GPU every so often. I don't really think that's true. What I think is happening is the GPU is waiting for the CPU to send more data, but the CPU is just so busy it can't. So we're going to try and fly through here, past the H&M building, if I don't crash, and we're going to go into Central Park. So obviously I'm a bit low, let's have a look down. So the trees are at ultra, um, so there's no pop in like we had in the last video. And it's still hovering between 20 and 30 frames per second, which is pretty good and it's perfectly flyable. Let's check those settings again. So here we are, go to general. So we're at 1080, full screen, B sync's off, render scaling is 100, which is default, I think. Anti aliasing is at TAA, which is full. Terrain level of detail is at 25. Terrain vector data is at ultra. Buildings are medium. Again, if your CPU is a bit below mine, which is an i5-7600K, you could drop that, and that will help if you drop it to low. But I'll keep mine at medium. Trees are ultra, grasses and bushes are ultra. They don't seem to have much effect. Object level of detail. Again, this one will have a significant effect on your CPU. Um, so if your CPU is a bit below mine, then drop it down to 25. Um, everything else is at its highest setting. Everything. Uh, lens correction is off, I don't need that. Uh, generic plane models is off, but I'm not using multiplayer anyway. Um, and there we go. So let's flip back now to the game. It takes a while to catch up, and here we go, 30 frames a second. Again, if we go up in altitude a little bit, then the frame rate does pick up. And we can look around. All looking good.
don't pay too much attention to my flying, it's terrible. But there is one other thing um, I was reading about, and you may have noticed in my menu up here, everything is off except for the camera. In my testing, um, it did save a few FPS by turning off all of these because it doesn't have to generate that information in the background. Yeah, one or two frames per second. It wasn't too heavy. Obviously this part of New York, this bridge here, I'm not sure which bridge this is, hasn't been modelled very well. It's just generic. Because there's a wall of water below it. And as we fly closer in, if I don't die, there is um, a picture of the road in the arches. So that's the photogrammetry. So really that could do with being handmade. So frame rates stay mainly was in the green there. And the higher we go, the better it gets. Perfectly usable, flyable. It is quite cool. So there you go, low end CPU um, and ultra settings mainly, and it's viable. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, and take care.